Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 25th of September 2020 and it's just coming up to 11.50 British summer time. And this, this week's Chart of the Week is silver. Uh, we've had a fairly um, decent sell-off in silver uh, in, the, in the last few weeks. But the negative move that we've seen um, in the last few weeks must be put in the context uh, of the phenomenal growth that has had in the last few months. So if we take a look at the wider view, we can just see just how far much, how far silver has come in the last few years. It's been in a solid downtrend for years and years and years. And then between March and August of this year, the metal more than doubled in value. So it's been a colossal move to the upside. And so it's hardly a surprise that we saw a fairly aggressive re, um, move, ne de negative move in mid-August. And more recently, given the strength of the US dollar, we've seen further losses. Uh, the point of this video is to discuss where could we go from here on silver. So it is worth noting the wider trend is to the upside. But if you have a excessive growth like this, it can be difficult to maintain. So we could still see lo uh, losses in the near term. Um, taking a look at the price action recently, we can see the price has been pushing aggressively to the downside. We, if you look here at the MACD indicator, the MACD histogram, we can see there's a steady increase in negative momentum. So the market's moving to the downside. But if we could take a look at yesterday's candle here, uh, that has the potential to be a hammer formation. Now, in order for that to be confirmed, you'd want to see a, a, a continued uh, upward move uh, in today and tomorrow and so on and so forth. So far on today's candle, it hasn't taken out the highs of yesterday, but at the same time, it's well below, it's well off the lows of yesterday. So keep an eye on that. Uh, it's also worth noting, if you apply the Fibonacci retracement uh, from the lows of mid-June to the highs of early August, when the seven-year high was hit, we can see that the price action between August and yesterday, um, we can see that the 61.8% uh, retracement level acted as support, which also coincided with this, this yellow line here, the 100-day moving average. So while we hold above that metric, it's likely we could see further gains. But if we do have a break below that metric, that could take us back down towards the $20 level. Uh, 20 bucks is a, you know, it's a big number. Uh, we can also see here that there's a small bit of consolidation from the, from the price area uh, in early August as the market was moving to the upside. Um, if you are going to be trading silver, please keep an eye out for what's going on in the US dollar. Uh, silver is traded in dollars, uh, so, the, so a stronger dollar uh, tends to have a negative impact on silver. Uh, recently enough, the US dollar has been acting uh, as a safe haven play. So whenever traders are concerned about uh, the, he the health of the of the global economy, equity markets are falling, they've been buying uh, US dollars recently. And with that, the, the, the dollar has, has moved upward. As we can see here on the US dollar index chart, it was only yesterday the US dollar index hit, hit a two month high. So it's no coincidence that we're seeing moves to the upside in the US dollar and move to the downside in silver. Uh, so if you are trading uh, silver, keep an eye on that. If if we continue to push higher in the dollar, and if the dollar index takes out yesterday's high and continues to push on, you know, fresh multi-week highs, fresh multi-month highs, that could, that, could, that could be the factor which puts downward pressure on the silver market. Uh, it is worth noting today at 13.30 British summer time, we have uh, US data out, durable goods data. That could, uh, that, that could, um, um, increase in volatility in the dollar and in turn in silver. So keep an eye on that. Uh, in terms of the price action, you know, it is in the near term, if the dollar pushes, pushes higher, we could head back down toward this zone here, um, the most recent low, and we could head back down towards 20 bucks, 20 bucks. But let's not, let's not forget that the wider trend, the upper trend is still very much in play here. So if we do continue to press on higher from here, on the, on the silver market, we could be looking at heading back up toward this blue line, the 50-day moving average. It acted nicely as both resistance and support uh, back in May. So if a metric has been important in the past, it makes it more likely it'll be, be of importance, <coughs> excuse me, in the future. That comes into play in around $25.87. And if we go beyond that, we could then be looking at, look at the highs 
of mid-September, uh, which come into play in around $26.70 there, thereabouts. And if we go beyond that, we could then be looking at retesting the highs uh, of early August. That's all from this video. Thank you, thank you for listening. Have a good trading week and good luck.